welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make shapes in GIMP. As you can see, I currently have a blank document. And to start off with, first I'm going to create a new layer to do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner of GIMP and then click on this little icon here. And you now need to press OK. And there we go, I now have a new layer. Which means when I create a shape, it will then go onto this layer and then I will be able to move the shape around. If I had just drawn the shape onto the background, then I would not have been able to move the shape around, as it would have been drawn onto the background. To start off with, we are going to draw a rectangle. To do this, all you need to do is go to the top left hand corner of GIMP and then click on this selection tool here, the rectangle select tool. You can also press R to select it. Once you have selected it, you can now drag what you would like to draw. For example, I'm just going to do a rectangle, or let's just do a square. There we go. As you can see, I now have a square. It's got like little black and white lines going around. This is what will be filled. Or we can also draw a line. You now need to go up to edit in the top left hand corner. And you now need to go down to fill selection outline. And we can now go solid color. And straight away, as you can see, it's filled it black. If we go Control and Z or Edit and Undo, we can also select our bucket tool and we can then select a color. Let's go with red and we can then just click in the area and then it will just fill it and make it red as well. I actually find it easier selecting the bucket tool and then just filling it. I find it a lot faster. If we now undo this again by going Control and Z, we can then go on to Edit again. And we can now go down to stroke selection. And we can now choose stroke line, solid color. You now need to click on stroke. And as you can see, it has now drawn a red line around our square. If I just click off that for a second, there you go, you can see that. I'm now just going to do another square. And if we go back to edit again, and we go down to stroke selection, and if we now click on stroke with a paint tool and we now have paintbrush selected, you have got lots of different options there as well. But let's just keep paintbrush selected. If I now go stroke, as you can see, it's done kind of a um, glow effect to that square, which actually looks kind of cool. We can now go ahead and select the next option across which we are going to use to create some circles. You can also press E to select this. I'm now going to hold down shift just so I get the perfect circle. As you can see, if I let go, and then if I now press shift, it locks that circle in, so it's a perfect circle. We can now do the same again and go back to edit, and we can go on to stroke selection, and we can then keep all these options on if we want and go stroke there we go we have a nice circle also at the start i did mention about creating that layer if i just deselect the circle and if i now select my move tool and make sure i have my layer one selected which i do because i just made these shapes on it if i now move this layer around as you can see i can move the shapes but my background stays the same if you did want to move each square or the circle on its own, then we could have added them onto their own layer. I'm now just going to create another circle on a new layer, so you can see me move that one around. I'm going to go down to the bottom right, click on create a new layer, and we're going to call this layer 2. There we go. And we now have three layers, as you can see. We have our background layer, our layer 1, and layer 2. I'm now going to select the circle tool. There we go, and we're just going to draw a circle. And I'm actually going to fill this one with my bucket tool, which is there. And you can select this by doing Shift and B. 
and I'm now going to change the color to let's go with a blue and I'm just going to fill it I'm now just going to deselect there we go and I'm now going to select my move tool and if I now just move this layer which is the circle there we go, as you can see, I could always just place, look at that, that's actually perfect. There we go, I could place that on top of there. I can do whatever I like. And that is it, that is the basics of making shapes in GIMP. I hope this tutorial has helped, and if you'd like me to do any more tutorials on GIMP, then head on over to my forum and leave me a thread. I am trying to kickstart my forum at the moment. And I would love it if you could all register and help me out. But yeah, head on over to my forum, create a thread asking for a tutorial to be made on GIMP. Tell me what you'd like me to make and then I will see if I can do it for you. And that is it for this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.